the WHO has labeled monkeypox a public health emergency of international concern. Should we panic? No, I don't think so. We survived COVID, didn't we? So we will survive monkeypox too. However, we need to be proactive in prevention. So please watch this video to get well informed about monkeypox. It is no longer news that there is an outbreak of monkeypox in Africa. It started from the Democratic Republic of the Congo and has spread to other African countries quickly, like Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, Nigeria, South Africa, and some other countries. And in Nigeria, it has spread to a few states, including Bayelsa, uh, Lagos, Ondo, Ogun, and Abia more recently. Monkeypox is an infection. It is caused by a virus, the monkeypox virus, which is similar to the smallpox virus. There are two strains, clade one and clade two. The first strain is the more dangerous strain and is responsible for the current outbreak. And that is why it has spread quickly across nations in Africa. It is responsible for three to 10% mortality in those infected. Of course, if there is an infection that can kill up to 10% of those infected, then it should be taken seriously. How is it transmitted? Transmission is through contact with infected animals or humans. Human to human, transmission can occur through even a casual contact like a handshake with an infected person or through kissing, sexual intercourse, respiratory droplets or touching the clothes worn by those that have been infected or handling their beddings or coming in contact with anything that they have used, surfaces where they have been in contact with, we can get infected when we do this. Symptoms usually start within 5 to 21 days of coming in contact with an infected person and it starts with a fever, high grade fever, which is in the range of about 38.5 degrees Celsius or even higher. And the person has intense muscle ache, headache, sore throat. They might also have lymphadenopathy, that enlarged lymph nodes. And typically there's a rash that starts from the face and spreads to other parts of the body. In the beginning, it may look like measles rash, which is macular but over time it evolves it changes to blisters and then the blisters later become pus filled they can no longer infect others when their rash has healed and then they they have a fresh skin but they can still transmit it sexually for another 12 weeks how do we prevent monkeypox well we should avoid contact with infected animals and humans so you may want to limit interaction with animals especially those in the bush you may want to put on hold the eating of bush meat for now. And if you have come in contact with any animal that is not your domestic animal for one reason or the other, then please do proper hand hygiene. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. To prevent human to human transmission, we need to avoid contact with those that have been infected. Avoid touching them or touching anything that they have used. Do not use their cutleries. Do not touch surfaces around them. When you want to visit them, let them wear a mask and it's safer for you also to wear a mask. Then if you must touch anything that you have used because some family members have to take care of their sick, then you have to wear uh, gloves, wear a mask, and then for their clothing, please ensure that you pour hot water and detergent to soak their clothing before they are washed. And for their sexual contacts, for 12 weeks, even after they have been healed, you still need to use condom for sexual activities because it can still be transmitted for that long. Health workers who are always in contact with patients, you may want to go for two doses of the vaccines. There are vaccines that are helpful, uh, like the smallpox vaccine, which confers about 85% protection. Two doses taken in four weeks can protect us from it. How is it treated? If you suspect that someone in your household has monkeypox, please be sure to isolate them and then take them to the hospital for confirmation. But in the meantime, ensure that they are not in isolation. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. Bosede Adegbite of Clinic Annex. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like it, give us a thumbs up, share it with everybody. Let us create this awareness together and subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, put your comments and your questions in the comment section or on the WhatsApp number showing on your screen. Attempts will be made to answer some of them. And don't forget, Good health is great wealth. We will never take it for granted. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, please be safe and be sure to do hand hygiene always. Bye.